All right, this is the part of the Striving for Eternity Academy. For those who watch live Monday nights, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, they get to give me something to transition to the gospel from anything, anything at all. Those who are live get to give me something to do a transition from whatever they give me to the gospel. Uh, I usually, just so folks know, I have no knowledge of what they're going to give me ahead of time. Uh, in fact, I don't know what it is until we hit the record button. So, it is, today's topic is waving hands. <laughs> So can you transition from waving hands to the gospel? This is a game we play so you can learn to transition from anything in the natural world to the spiritual world. And, you know, when you see someone on the streets, I, I see this often when I'm in major cities like New York, uh, Atlanta, you, you see someone that's on the phone usually and they're looking for someone and they're waving. Hello, I'm over here. They're trying to indicate to someone to, to look. They're trying to get someone's attention. You know, one of the things that we often don't think about is that we have something within our very nature, within our being, called the conscience. And what that's actually doing, it's, it's like the person waving. It's waving and saying, hello, hello, I'm trying to get your attention here. What's the conscience trying to do? It tries to get our attention to realize that there are things like right and wrong. Specifically, the fact that there are things that are wrong in God's eyes, that we break His commands. The, our conscience is trying to wave hands to get our attention so that we would realize that we are not in a right state with God and that we would be judged as guilty on the day of our death. For it's appointed unto man once to die and then a judgment. And so as we look at that, we realize that you and I, though you may be more moral than me, would still be guilty of breaking God's law if we look at what God's law is, thou shalt not lie, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not covet. We look at the, the things that God says that we should not do, and yet we do them. And as we do them, we break His law. As we break His law, it makes us guilty. And because God is infinitely holy and infinitely just, these things carry an infinite consequence. That's why it says in Revelation 21.8 that all liars have their place in a lake of fire which burns with brimstone, which is called the second death. That's not nice, but there is a way of escape. God himself came to earth while we were still enemies, while we still hated him. He came and died for us that we might have eternal life. God himself came to earth, died on a cross as a man, and paid the fine that you and I owe. That's the good news. That's what Christ came to tell us. So our conscience is waving its hands, waving to get attention so that we would know we're in big trouble when we die, but God, in His Word, provides a way of escape that we can know about, which is through Jesus Christ. That if we turn from trusting ourselves as a good person, turn from trusting our good works, and turn to Jesus Christ, we can have eternal life today. I hope you've done that today. And if not, may today be the day that you turn from yourself and turn to Christ and live.